In today's video, I'm going to be having a look at a little feature in the NVIDIA control panel called low latency mode. It's this feature over here. So um, if you're on a laptop, you're probably going to have two options, either off or ultra. Now, I always recommend putting it on ultra. Somebody did mention that if you actually switch it off, your performance improves in games. So I thought to myself, oh, I've never tested this before. So that's what I'm going to test in today's video. So sit down, strap in, and let's go. Right guys, before we get started with the benchmark results, I just want to go to the, into the NVIDIA control panel and just read the description. For the low latency mode, I'm on a little quad core GTX 1650 laptop. So in low latency mode, I've only got the ultra and off settings. So in the description, the latency control reduces latency by limiting the number of frames the CPU can prepare before the frames are processed by the GPU. Now in typical usage scenarios, select off to prioritize render throughput by line games to queue frames. Select on to prioritize latency by limiting queued frames to one and then select ultra to prioritize latency by fully minimizing queued frames. In addition, this mode minimizes V-Sync latency when both V-Sync and G-Sync are enabled. So let's get to the results. So all my games were tested at medium settings with the exception of Returnal. Returnal I have to play on low with FSR set to balanced because my laptop is severely under spec. All my other games were tested at medium settings with FSR 2.0 or 2.1 used on the quality setting. Guys, I don't play online games, I don't play FPS games, I play single player games, third person open world mostly. I'm on a GTX 1650 laptop, so, I don't, so your mileage might vary if you're using an RTX card. And then just lastly, I'm testing on the latest driver, 531.68. So with latency mode set to off, my default setting is obviously ultra, so I'm just gonna show you off quickly first. Initially I was very excited because it doesn't matter which driver or which updates I've used, these are my best results at medium settings for The Last of Us. So I got an average FPS in my benchmark of 35 and then my 1% lows were 25, which is about three or four higher than my regular settings. So I was very excited for low, uh, for low latency mode off. However, that trend did not last for the rest of the games. Most of the games I actually lost quite a bit in my 1% lows. My average FPS was actually high in certain games, but my 1% lows were worse. So stability really, really suffered. So when I added up all the average FPSs over the nine games, I've got a total FPS of 601, divide that by nine, and it gives me an average FPS of 66.78. When I add up all the 1% lows, over nine games, I've got 358 FPS divided by nine, and my average FPS per game, or 1% low per game, is 39.78. And when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, the stability, when I put latency mode to off, is 59.57% which is quite a bit lower than any of my other settings. And then guys, with latency mode on ultra, uh, you can see when I add up all the average FPSs, my average FPS total over nine games is slightly lower. And then when I divide by nine, it's 66.2. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, I, over the nine games, I total 424. Uh, and then when I divide that by 9, my average 1% low per game is 47.11. So you can see the 1% lows on average are much higher when I have latency or low latency mode set to ultra. So when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability um, when setting latency mode to ultra is 71.12%. So guys, if you are using latency mode off, just give latency mode ultra a try because you can see your driver or your your the performance is going to be a lot more stable. Yeah, I've got about 12% extra stability 
then uh, when I'm using low latency mode on ultra as opposed to low latency mode set to off. Anyways, so now we know what low latency mode does. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. Um, if you're still watching the video and you're not subscribed, now is the time to do so. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for the continued support. Um, it's people like you that make a difference in this world. Don't let anybody ever tell you anything else. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Cheers.